attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, there have been so many questions about security around that rally and how a shooter could get so close. And new tonight, a Union County man who has extensive experience with security and snipers is walking us through what he noticed. WBTV's Claire Kopsky joins us now live in Waxhaw. So Claire, the man you spoke with dealt with these types of security threats serving in Iraq, even helping lead the arrest of Saddam Hussein. Well, Siobhan, that's right. This highly decorated former army officer who has met with and briefed both former President Trump and President Biden spoke with us today. And while he shared his security expertise, he also talked about the temperament of our country and said that he hopes that this weekend's attempted assassination serves as a wake-up call. If you uh, want to really see something to said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Ten seconds. Okay, that's pretty good reaction. Acquiring, killing, threat eliminated. A good reaction time for a high intensity situation. And they immediately go to action and they just, so they did everything they were trained to do. As someone who's augmented a security detail many times before, retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Steve Russell knows what it takes to secure an area like a rally. You bend over backwards to make that happen. We're not looking for blame here. We're looking at how do we preserve our political process and how do we preserve the republic? Let's focus on that. A question he says he's not seen either party focus on. They're saying trying to blame the other and capitalize on such a tragic event. It's a, a mark, a mar on our country. And they're trying to use that as leverage to overpower. Well, that's exactly the type of problem we're trying to solve. Don't go there with this incident and make it worse. He says it's important to take a historical look and remember this isn't the first time something like this has happened. You look at from 1963 to 1980, that 17 year period, you had a lot of candidates assassinated and you had one president assassinated and another and attempted to be assassinated. Well, thank God we've gone 40 something years since anything like that. Russell says Americans need to take a note from the past. Let's go back and, and learn the lessons of those that they toned it down after the 1960s and early 70s and said, yeah, you know, we, we just can't do this. We can't keep doing this with our political rhetoric and our system. No one wants to be in the 1960s again. Russell shared so much more and also said tonight that he hopes that the former president and the president focus on America, focus on holding the republic together. Tonight, he says that everyone should be praying for America because when America does well, the world benefits. We're live in Waxhaw. I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV, on your side. His experience is surely invaluable. Claire, thank you. Jamie? We've got some breaking news.